Even though German is a really difficult language, you can do it by yourself. Hi, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Freddy, 26 years old from Indonesia. I like to learn language. My mother tongue is Indonesian and I speak English fluent, but right now I'm currently focusing on freshening up my German. Hello, zuerst möchte ich mich mal kurz vorstellen. Ich heiße Freddy, bin 26 Jahre alt und ich komme aus Indonesien. In meiner Freizeit lerne ich gerne Fremdsprachen. Meine Muttersprache ist Indonesisch, ich spreche auch fließend Englisch, aber gerade konzentriere ich mich darauf, mein Deutsch wieder aufzufrischen. Also ja, freut mich, dich kennenzulernen. I started learning German around seven or eight years ago. It all began when my sister wrote something in German. So when I saw it, I fell in love instantly with the language. And during the long holiday we had before the uni started, I decided to bought myself a grammar book and I started to teach myself because there wasn't any German class back then and I didn't have any friends who share the same interests. So yeah, I started to learn by myself. I spent the first year learning about all the basics like the subject and how the general grammar works. And I spent the second and third year trying to gather more exposure to the language like um, listening to the audio, learning how to pronounce the words. And I spent the next few years to simply applying what I've learned so far like um, conversing with native speakers and downloading application that allows me to chat with native speakers. So yeah, more into the practical side of the language learning process. At first, it all started as, you know, like just to learn for fun. But I started to think that German is a really fascinating language. So I've learned about the basics and I know some intermediate knowledge about it. So I decided to proceed further. And my current goal right now is to be fluent in that language because it is something that not most people would prefer to have but yeah, it really fascinates me. I currently work as real estate agent and sometimes we would get inquiries from German clients. So there was this one time, there was this nice German lady. She was looking for a villa to rent. And when we visited the villa, she started to speak German. And when I noticed, I tried to join the conversation. She was shocked obviously, but in a good way. And she really applauded my effort to learn the language. And we ended up closing the deal. That's when I realized my German really paid off. Afterwards, we also have several incoming inquiries from German clients. And what I noticed that when I started to speak German, they not only become more approachable, but also applaud my effort in learning the language. They were utterly impressed. Okay, let's say you are about to conduct a business with German speakers. Now I'm going to tell you several useless phrases that you could use and be helpful in connecting your business. The first one, when you're about to introduce yourself, you would ask the name of the speaker. Then you would say, wie heißen sie? Wie heißen sie? That means, what is your name? And how to respond? You could say, ich heiße, ich heiße, which means my name is blah, 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 blah. And then maybe you, this is the first meeting with your business partner and you are wondering what is he or she actually looking for? So you could ask, was suchen sie? Was suchen sie? It means, what are you looking for? Or perhaps you are selling something and your German customer would like to know how much it costs. So they are probably would like to ask, We feel costed das. We feel costed das. It means, how much does it cost? And then you will reply, Das kostet? 
does costed, which means it costs something something. After having a meaningful conversation with your German business partner, you will definitely want to close your conversation with something meaningful. That is, you could say Freut mich Sie kennenzulernen. Freut mich Sie kennenzulernen. Meaning, it's nice to meet you. So yeah, um, Freut mich Sie kennenzulernen. Another useful phrase you could use to close your conversation would be Wir freuen uns auf die Zusammenarbeit mit Ihnen. Wir freuen uns auf die Zusammenarbeit mit Ihnen. Meaning, we are looking forward to be working with you. That's it. Let's say you just exchange business cards and you would like to encourage your German business partner to call you. You could say, Sie können mich jedes Mal anrufen. Sie können mich jedes Mal anrufen. Meaning, you could call me anytime. Okay, those are several useful phrases that you could use with your German business partner. Now, if you are encouraged to learn German, I have several tips for you. The first thing first is that you don't have to push yourself too hard because German is a very complicated language and it's okay if you do not make big progress in the beginning because every learning process takes a lot of time and every person needs different technique to master the language. And second, learning should not be tedious. You can make the learning process as fun as possible. For me personally, I like to listen to German songs because not only you could learn how to pronounce the words, but also you could really enjoy the learning process and having fun with it. So that's the end of this video. I hope it does an excellent job in convincing you to learn German because who knows, it might be useful for you as it is for me. I never thought that learning German would benefit me in my career, but here I am. And having several clients from Germany who not only applauded my effort in learning German, but also really appreciate every details I get into the conversation. Also, yeah, um, Vielen Dank für das Zuschauen und ähm, ich habe einen Satz für dich. Anfangen ist leicht, beharren eine Kunst. Which translates into, it's easy to start, but it's difficult to be persistent. So keep going and never give up.